Hello and welcome to Excel Video 273. I'm Nate Moore. This morning I've been helping a healthcare consultant pull data out of one of his clients' practice management software, put it into a pivot table so that he can turn around and provide some real valuable advice to the client. If I can help you with a similar project, I'd love to. What I want to do today is play with another go to special trick. And let me set it up here for a minute, if you will. I've got a list of 200 patients, and let's assume what I want to do is I want everybody but the patients that start with B for whatever reason. One way to do that is to format this list as a table. We'll say, yeah, we have a header there. Click OK. And then what we can do is we can come over and do a text filter and we'll choose doesn't begin with the letter B. We'll filter those out. And then if we take this and shift end and down, and copy to a new blank sheet over here, the patients that started with B that I filtered don't show up. So filtering is one way to solve this problem. Let's take the filter off. If you can't create a table and filter for whatever reason, the way your spreadsheet's designed or the data's coming in, that's not an option for you. What folks will try to do sometimes is they say, well, I'll just come down here and I'll go to, whoops, I need to get the whole row, there we go we'll get the whole column, the whole set of B's, that's what I meant to say, all the B's in this column, and we'll just hide those rows. And then what we can do is we'll go shift, end, and down, we'll copy those, we'll come over here, let's just put them, say, here, and paste that. Notice that even though I've hid the patients with the B's, here, we go from A to C, when I come over here, I've got the patients with the B. Even though I hid them, when I copied the range, Excel brought the patients with the B over. If you want to hide and be able to get it, continue to exclude those patients with a B, what you can do is do this. Let's, let's leave them hidden. So we're, we're clearly hiding rows 9 to 29. We're going to come over here. And then if we shift in and down from this list, we're going to go to special and pick visible cells only. So I only want the cells I can see. If I click that and copy, come over here, yeah, that's as good as any place, and we'll paste. Now I'm back, and see here I have the B, well, let's do it this way. Here I have the Bs, and here I don't have patients whose name started with B. And the trick is to go to special and just pick the visible cells. If you're filtered or you can't filter or you've hidden and you can't hide, if you've got one of those kind of problems and you just say, just copy what I can see, don't give me, I know there's stuff underneath the cell, but I don't want it select the cells that are visible this way, and then you can copy and paste to your heart's content without picking up rows or columns that you don't need. That's what I wanted to show you today, how to use go to special and visible cells only. There's a bunch more things we can do in here, and we'll follow up with some of those in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.